Those who currently own and uh, operate handguns safely and store them safely are not at all targeted by this legislation. We're simply saying uh, that we are uh, freezing the market and in the future it will not be possible to buy, sell, transfer or import handguns in Canada. Until the legislation passes, the federal government will monitor and collect data on any new handguns that are purchased. Abigail Beeman has more. I'm angry. Like, I'm angry and I'm frustrated because we follow the rules. In the wake of the Liberals' new gun legislation, it's no surprise people like gun range owner J.R. Cox feel targeted. It doesn't look good for the business. It doesn't look good for me. While gun control advocates like Ken Price and Claire Smith, whose daughter Samantha survived the Danforth shooting in Toronto, are pleased by a handgun freeze. I'm just a bit in shock at the, the news. Um, I'm really... I'm really encouraged and I'm very, very thankful. But the legislation is complicated with much to unpack. Experts are divided as to whether new rules will have an impact on the problem of illegal guns entering Canada. It absolutely will work for police. It'll also work for local municipalities because they will have the ability to implement certain bylaws which will restrict weapons also. Thinking that we can actually stop them at the border um, it is in my view, dreaming. Irvin Waller says we'll never know how many illegal guns flow through the border. He is among those who believe the only way to stop them is to lower demand by tackling the causes of gang violence. Economic opportunity, job opportunity, stuff like that. But we're also looking at drug policy because the drug trade is the engine of gang violence. Something everyone but the government seems to agree on. Expect a short-term burst in gun sales and licensing as people try to beat the deadline when the freeze takes hold and you can't buy new guns. It is a ban in everything but name. Gun law expert Solomon Friedman says the legislation was put forward without enough consultation on all sides. It seems to me like gun control made by Twitter, that in the wake of an awful, unspeakable tragedy in the United States, which of course had its own gun culture, has its own issues with respect to violence that simply do not exist in Canada, uh, we have some really shoddy legislation. The public safety minister certainly disagrees, believing the bill's new surveillance and wiretap powers for investigators and tougher sentences are effective deterrents for illegal gun users. He's also promising to move forward on the long-standing gun buyback promise, now three years old, and not included in the legislation. Abigail Beeman, Global News, Ottawa.